looks like we outrun him. What's it going to be, in the saddle or across it? Get rid of that gun. Come on out here. Three days. Three days of running us to ground like animals. You lousy bounty hunter! <laughs> you want to talk to me, you call me Kincaid. He's not an animal, mister. Mister? It sometime today. <laughs> names Angus Keel. There's no need to trade names. You're Kincaid. We've been hunting golf too. Find him. 
explanations. Well, that just shows the difference between you and us. You'd ride right into limbo to get your man. Good listen to us. We quit. Kincaid there keeps right on going. You got no ambition. Fifty dollar bounty on some reservation runaway Indian. That's been hostile. Enough to buy beans and a night's drink. No ambition. Five hundred dollars not out of that hitching post. That sort of money buy a knife and fork dinner, clean bed, women in perfume dresses. You must be a rich man. How about buying us all a drink? No. What's the matter? Too good to drink with us? I don't even like the idea of talking with you. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Like I'm some kind of a varmint that just climbed out of a spittoon. Take your hand off my gun. Not till you have a drink with us. Not till you slop with the pigs. He was riding with a man named Pike. Yeah. I take it he's dead. Self-defense. Wasn't worth anything, so I put him in the ground. Come with me, Gulf. Living. Hangmen say the same thing. You know, Joel's been tried and found guilty. He'll hang in the morning. Take this over to the bank, Ken Cage. They'll give you your money. You know how it works. Yeah. Bring him in. You can retire. Last heard of Riddle, he's down in the Indian Territory. A lot of men going looking for him, both law and your kind. Most of them come back in nothing but saddle shores. A few of them didn't come back at all. Ended up coyote me. You gotta have pity on Billy Riddle if you find him.
How about a drink? Sure. Hey, last I heard you was looking for red gold. Yeah, I found him. How's it going? <laughs> Ever try scratching your head with an empty shirt sleeve? <laughs> there you are. I know it sounds local, but I didn't start living until Jack Crow bushwhacked me with that buffalo gun. I had to turn to something else. I got me this place, got me a woman. Her pa was a medicine man, hard man to bargain with. She cost me a good horse and a rifle, but she's worth it. You got a good horse and a rifle, Kincaid? I ain't ready yet. Uh, you'll run into your Jack Crow one of these days. I see a lot of men ride through here, Kincaid. Some running, some hunting. Billy Riddle. Uh-huh. Well, sir, there's some that make him out a hero. Say he turned outlaw because he was forced into it. They're even singing songs about him down around Texas. But he'd shoot his own paw in the back just for a chuckle. Any idea where he's holed up? Nope, but I know a fellow that does. Kincaid, it's a lot easier to grow skin than it is to buy it. Who is he? You got more stubborn than a two-headed mule. He's a snake-blooded weasel named Hargis. He deals with Riddle and his kind. Takes him in supplies and trades with him. Hey, I got a friend here. I want you to take along with you. Sleep with it. Keep one eye open and your ear on the ground. That's quite a gun. I appreciate that, Tom. Well, I think I'll be making tracks. You know how it is. Thanks for everything. See you on the way back. I hope so. That gun means a lot to me. Kata, help me roll up these hats. Sheriff's head. You going after Riddle? <laughs> Five thousand dollars. <laughs> well, how do you know for sure? Give us a drink. He's got a poster of Riddle in his pocket. Loading up with supplies. A nanny could put that all together. Riddle's holed up down the territories. Man's got to be a few bricks short of load to go riding down there. No need to fret. Kincaid to take care of that for us. We take Riddle from him. That's right. Well, let's make tracks. There's no need to hurry. Tell has got an eye on him. Give Kincaid a good head start. You know, Cougar makes his kill clean. Because he waits for it. You might live till morning. Where's Billy Riddle? Where is he? Battle Mountain. You do business there? Yeah. 
You do business with Riddle? Yes. He asked me to bring him some tobacco and ammunition and a new dress for his girl. You got him? Yeah. Would you get a new dress out of here? Folks passing by in a wagon. The lady had a whole trunk full. We're going to deliver that dress. A year ago, I was drinking fine brandy in a St. Louis casino. This goes to show you how fast a man can backslide. He's still living in the past. Riddle's in Battle Mountain. Ken Cade's going there now. He's got a man called Harkis with him. How do you know all that? Harkis is woman. Battle Mountain, you know it? Yeah, he'll be getting there along about dusk. Riddles! Make us some coffee a man can drink. to give. It's just a little old spit in the road. It used to be a gold town till the diggings run out. Now it's just from men on the run. No mayor, no law, no nothing. Three minutes, bounty man. Three minutes. That's about how long you gonna last in there. <laughs> Where'll I find Riddle? In the saloon. Same place as everybody. Get off the wagon. Huh? Off of the wagon.
Jackson. In at the hall. Room on the left. Let him in. Why didn't Hargis come? We well, had some trouble. You got something for me? Oh. Oh, Billy, it's so beautiful. It sure is. I guess it means we gotta go someplace fancy. Maybe uh, St. Louis. Hmm? Do you mean that? Sure, I mean it. Right after the next job. You always say that. Yeah, but this time I mean it. <laughs> Come on, go get the man a drink. He's had a long, hard ride. Okay. Get going. Hold it. Give me the gun. You're no badge tutor, that's for sure. Bounty hunter. The reward must have gone up. It was three thousand. Now it's five thousand. Five thousand? I told you I was going up in the world. Holster. Try anything before I get him out of here, I'll kill him. Set that scattergun down and get out. One wrong word, I'll blow you right into next week. Now, come on. I 
told you they'd run you down. Dead as I can alive. So you better keep quiet. Billy, no! are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine now. Are you? Are you go crazy Coming all this way. By yourself? I'm sorry, but I couldn't get anybody to come with me. Stay away from her. Come on, we're riding out. What about me? She's coming with us. Why? There's no bounty on her. If I don't take her with us, she'll be dogging our trail all the way. Now, come on. Well, where's that Tully? He's been gone a spell. He'll be coming as soon as he got something to report. Now sit down and take it easy. You keep saying that. All I want is Kincaid in my sights. I'd say you're a slow learner, Rufus. Scott Riddle. Did you see him? I seen him. Just at the first sun. He's riding hard. City spell. Rest your horse. $5,000 worth of carcass out there just for the taking. Rufus, you've been straining like a hungry dog on a leash. You're getting on my nerves. I'm figuring this. Now, you quit mouthing in. All right, you're calling it. Ain't nothing under that hat but hair. There's a water hole about 20 miles north. Only water between Battle Mountain and Big Spring. Kincaid is gonna need water. Wait for him there. Swallow riddle. Here you go. Okay. All right. Thanks. Billy, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I, I want to help you. I don't want you getting hurt. Look, I promise I won't get hurt. Oh, honey, when a man looks at you. Just be nice to him, that's all. I mean, he's a man, too. Get him to drop his guard. Let's go. Draw. Don't want to hang out any signs that Kincaid can read. When he comes in, be from the south. You warm into this? Mm. Not tracking a man, it's uh, a challenge. 
You know, Keo. Riddle ain't exactly jelly. What if Kincaid can't hold him? Driscoll, you've been living in a dung heap so long. You've forgotten what faith is. You're late breaking the news. Well, now, we've had ourselves some supper and some nice hot coffee and a sip of water. What now? Some cards, maybe? Oh, it'll be kind of difficult, though, huh? Hmm. How about a little party socializing? You know who I am. You met me, but who are you? I've been asking myself that question all day long. Who would have guts enough to ride in a battle mountain and take me like a side of pork? And you know something? I come up with the same answer every time. There's only one man who'd come in there. Kincaid. We got ourselves about the biggest funeral giver ever. Should have figured it, you riding in there bold as winter. What are you talking about? Keaton Cade. When he goes after a man, not many get to face a judge. Most of them get themselves killed along the way. Cheaper not to feed them, huh? Well, I don't eat much, Mr. Kincaid. Honest. Why don't you just shut up and go to sleep? You heard him, honey. Good night. Kill Billy, you're gonna have to kill me too. Well, you speak right up, don't you? Is that true about all those other men? It's happened, they called it. They called it? You don't even care, do you? Well, you listen to me. I love Billy, and I will do anything for him. That takes in a lot. Any way you slice it, he's not worth it. You don't know him! When I met Billy, I was in El Paso, working in a saloon. And one day he said to me, no more saloons. And he kept his word, and that was two years ago. Two years spent waiting. Maybe, but I... I always knew that there would be a better life for us somewhere away from guns and saloons. Billy is not like the rest. In two years, you haven't learned much, have you? Go to sleep.
Thank you. What's the matter with you? You? Last few days I've seen a part of you that I don't like. Well, excuse me for not being myself, but that man's taking me in to die. May. Hmm? Darling, in three days we're gonna be in Big Spring. The day after that, they're gonna have a rope dance with me as a guest of honor. And that's in three days. You already put a pretty good dent in them. You mean last night? That didn't mean anything. Mm -mm, you're doing fine. Go talk to him. Get him to trust you. He's bound to drop his guard. When he does, I'll be ready. Go on, honey. Driscoll, I tell you, your coffee... You don't have to drink it. Put the guns down. It's Tully. Give him a good rub. Just like you called it. Heading right this way. Except he's not alone anymore. Huh? Got a woman with him. Uh, that's something he didn't call. How are we going to divvy her up? Where'd you see him? A couple miles this side of Shawnee Point. That means I'll be here tomorrow, sometime between noon and dusk. Uh, Satana, camp yourself out on that ridge out there. If you see anybody coming, let us know. The rest of you get some sleep. A big day tomorrow. <sighs> See you wear it in St. Louis. My father was a preacher. Religion's supposed to save your soul, but I guess with me it was the other way around. My father's kind of religion anyway. What kind was that? We were Quakers. And that was a really strict kind of life. And then my father became a deacon. And he changed. And so did our religion. You start to see sin in everything, in people and love. And, um, we'd always dressed really plainly, and then even that became sinful. He made me wear my hair very severe and hidden because no boy should see my hair. And then after a while, I wasn't even allowed to see any boys. I broke one of his rules, sinned. 
that ain't with me. So my life came down to his church, and my room, and nothing in between. And I hated it. And I started to hate him. So you ran away? I was 18. I didn't even know if I was pretty. And one day I tried on a friend's party dress and I combed out my hair. And then my father caught me admiring myself in the mirror. And he burned the dress and he cut off my hair and he whipped me with a bullwhip. And that was the last I ever saw. How'd you meet Billy? I was green and I drifted. And I managed to survive and then I ended up in Durant. I was the bottom of the barrel until Billy came along. That was better than where he took you? We were going to go to Oregon and get married and have kids. Billy's an outlaw. I know that. That's not his choice. He was forced into it. Yes. Yeah, they were all forced into it. I know Riddle. I've known 20 of them. When his hide's at stake, he'll throw you to the wolves. Quitting while you still got something left to give. It's empty. Now put it back. Through you to the wolves. You chance killing me. He wouldn't kill you. Now, Kincaid might be a lot of things, but he wouldn't kill a woman. You counted on that? Honey, if I thought there was a chance of you getting hurt. I love you. They're coming. There may be better time than I figured. Get that fire out. Hide the horses.
What are you waiting for? We need water. Something flush those doves. Coyote or something. They stay out of the heat and wait till it's cool. What are you gonna do, ride around it? I'd like to, but we're dry. You're spooked. Maybe. What's wrong with you over a couple of stinking birds? What about me? She needs a drink. I don't like it. We're getting out of here. Come on. Hold up, we're going after you. This, but not again. Out of water, short one horse. Now let's go. Drop on the other side of the hill. <laughs> we got old jokes and whiskey now. We need some one. One of your dances. <laughs> we sit tight. How come? Kincaid. You seen the way he works that rifle? Try taking him now, it cut us down like, like summer wheat. They're not going anywhere. from Battle Mountain because I cared. And you don't care about anything but your own hide. May, you got it wrong. I no, panicked, Billy, but... no! Can I help? Get my saddlebags. Riddle, you stay put. This one. Okay. A bandana and some whiskey. In there. 
Who's this? It's my son. Where's his mother? She's dead. What are you doing? Plugging it up. Stops the bleeding. It's my last jaw, too. at you. Same way I look at you. He's a lonely man. He... You mean that... You want me to... If you have to. Me, if you think I'm dead. You do, likely. Those walls aren't gonna leave no witnesses behind. Only way for you and me is to double back to Battle Mountain. We can't do that. We can't get in the way. I was a tramp when you found me. And now you're telling me that you want me to be that again. I'm saying it's the only chance we got. if you can do any better. This is the last of the beef. Sorry there's nothing to wash it down, though. What about you? I'm not hungry. Thank you. Did you stop living? Well, you must have felt something once, love or something. I've been watching you, I've seen it. Now you're just like a... Those men out there are gonna kill you. Even brave men don't want to die, but you don't even feel. Why? Why are you asking? Because... I want to know. How old is your son? He's seven. What's his name? Clay. Why aren't you with him? You don't waste any words, do you? Mm -hmm. 
Had a ranch in Colorado. And a wife. Clay was too then. There was a young fellow by the name of Paxton. Got arrested robbing a general store. Claimed he was hungry. The judge was a friend of mine. Asked me to give him a job. Uh, kind of lend him a guiding hand. Paxton was a lot like your Billy Riddle. Good looking, silk tongued. Likeable along with it. He'd been there about two weeks, and I had to go to Leeville to buy some horses. I was gone four days. And when I got back, he was gone. So was my wife. I went after him. I had no idea where they went, so it took me some time. One day I rode into this little trail town and and asked around. She was there, but Paxton wasn't. He gotten tired of her and left her drunk. Somehow she heard I was in town. Couldn't bring herself to face me, so she killed herself. I buried her and kept looking for Paxton. Cornered every man I've tracked since, but I've never found Paxton. He's still looking. When I find him, I'll kill him. What about your son? He's with friends. Last ones I remember making. No, Billy. What are you saying? I am not going to get you a gun, Billy. May, you are killing me. You are killing me. fuss over you, huh? You don't look like that much to me. Huh? Got an offer. We got enough food and water for a week. I 
Uh, you'll be lucky to last two days, that is. Uh... <laughs> that is, if you don't eat or drink nothing. <laughs> you know, the sun will be hitting this rise hard all day. Time moves on, you'll be all dried up, like dying leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Make your point. Give us riddle. You and a woman can ride out carrying a canteen of water. It's that or you're all dying. Thirst or a bullet. You got an hour to sort it out. You gonna do like he said? I gotta admit I'm tempted, but no. Money? That, and I don't trust Keel, I know him. Then what happens? As long as you're with me, Riddle, you stand to live just a little bit longer. Right about that sun. Without water, it'll burn us right in the ground. I gotta make a move, but I need another horse. I'm going down there. If I get into trouble, you cover me. What if you don't make it? If anything happens to me, you cut him loose. At least you stand a chance that way. You trust me? I guess I do. We're not going to have a chance like this again. Cut me loose. I can't, Billy. Oh, come on, May. I know it's not like it was, but... If you let him cash me in, you'll be sharing him a kill. that woman's life and give us riddle for the days out. I wouldn't count on it. If there was a $50 reward and his mother he'd collect it. Hey, let me go. <laughs> what if he does make a deal? Are you gonna let him ride out of here? 
None of us get a night's sleep till he's dead. Hey, man. Just get on a horse and ride for it. $5,000. But what I thought that you... you... thought what? You told me that Billy was never going to be anything but an outlaw. It's just the same for you. You're going to spend your whole life hunting and killing. How many times do you think that you can kill Paxton? seen in a long time. You coming? Let's get out of here.
10-inch RCA Victor Television. One more day to Labor Day weekend, the traditional occasion for tasty outdoor barbecues.